This is the longest ball in golf. And well, that's what they claim. They're saying it's five yards further carry than a Pro V1. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give it a proper test. So what is this golf ball that's claiming to be so long? Well, this is the company, Quantix Golf. I've never heard of them before. What happened, a follower of mine on Facebook sent me a link to the golf balls and he said, you gotta check these out. So I did, I went on the website and literally in text, it says the world's longest golf ball. And after doing a little bit more research, there's a claim on the website, that says that this ball is five yards further carry than a Pro V1. I've got to give that a proper test. Um, the golf ball itself, they cost $34, plus I paid $22 to ship from the USA. Um, it's a pretty basic box, just with the black text, Quantix Golf F18 Tour. Um, and it looks like most normal golf balls. Probably the dimple pattern looks a little bit bigger than normal, but bar that, I mean, it's just a normal golf ball. How can it surely be longer? But also they reckon it's gonna be a premium golf ball. They reckon you get great feel, go touch around the green. Again, what you see on a lot of golf ball packages. So before we test it against the Pro V1, I'm gonna get on the putting green, see how it feels, hit some chip shots with it, see how it spins around the green. Also check its durability, does this cover last? I need to chop one in half to see what's inside. And then finally get to a tee and give it a rip with the driver. Let's hit some putts first and see how it actually feels. Also, on the box here, it does say the conform with USGA and RNA rules. So it is a conforming ball. And who knows, if this ball is longer, genuinely, we might be looking for a new golf ball that I'll use. Right, let's see how it feels first. That's a big test for me. So how does it feel with the putter? Uh, a little bit hard and a little bit clicky. Not as soft as I would like it to feel for a premium golf ball. However, as I mentioned, if this ball goes five yards further than the Pro V1, I could get used to it on the putting green. It's just not my preferred feel. Next up, chipping. How does it feel around the greens? Let's go and find out next. Okay, around the greens, it passed with flying colours. Felt actually better than it did on the putting green off the wedge. Spun well, reacted well on little short shots and you know, some pitches that I just hit in there went really close and just had that nice balance of, it was a good flight. Once it landed, it just kind of dropped and stopped. Next test, because sometimes with these lesser known brands, the cover can be not as durable. So let's do a good old fashioned durability test on one of these balls and see if this cover can actually withstand being smashed out of a bunker with a lob wedge. Durability wise, that ball's done really well. 10 shots out of the bunker there. I've had more premium balls that have done much worse than this. There's a few little scuffs and scratches but yeah, I'm impressed with that. Right, let's chop it in half before getting it back to the tee and seeing how far it can go. Now, quite interestingly, the designer behind this actually used to work for Titleist and designed the Titleist Tour Bellata many years ago. And apparently in 1986, he designed the golf ball that Jack Nicklaus won the Masters with. And also, many of you out there, including me, have hit his golf balls recently because he actually designed the Top Golf golf ball, the one that you get at the driving range at Top Golfs. Right, let's chop this in half. Let's see what's inside the Quantix F18. It's a pretty soft cut, gives me an indication it normally has a fairly soft core. And inside we see the three layers. This is interesting. 
that second layer is like a, a clear layer. It's actually very, very similar to what I actually saw in the Bridgestone Tiger golf ball. That's interesting. Either way, let's get to the tee. Let's get a box of new ones out against a box of brand new Pro V1s. The real test is about to start. Is it longer? Let's go and find out. So here we go. This is the big one. Quantix versus Pro V1. This ball claims to be five yards longer carry than this, which is regarded as many as the best ball in golf. Now, I use this. I normally carry it 280 yards through the air, but to make this test nice and fair, I'm gonna hit five Pro V1s first on GC Quad to get a baseline number, and then we're gonna hit five with the Quantix. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. I'm, you know, no, I know that the Pro V1 is a great performing golf ball, um, but this one to be five yards longer, that's it's like, just to put it into, into perspective, that's half a club longer, or effectively half a club shorter if I was hitting my second shot into the green, which would make a massive difference. I would take five yards every time. Right, let's get going. Pro V1s first, get a baseline number, and then see if these are longer. So Pro V1 numbers, average carry distance, 278 yards, average ball speed around about 160 miles per hour. So now it's time for this. Five yards further, it promises on carry. So in theory, this should average 283 yards. Let's find out. Let's hit five with the Quantix. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like, subscribe to the channel, loads more videos coming your way. Let's see if this is truly the longest ball in golf. Okay, first shot. Let's see what it can do. Oh, that was absolutely ripped. That was a good, strong start. Numbers wise, let's see what the carry was. 280 yards. Good, strong start. We've got two more shots to go. Average at the moment is 275, roughly. So it's got to find two big ones. Flight feels good. It just doesn't feel like it's super popping off the face. I'd be surprised if I can get one carrying much further than 283. But that was a very good hit. That last one, I absolutely struck in the middle. Distance. 278 yards one more shot to go i think uh i think what we're establishing here is that claim of five yards longer on carry is not what we're seeing right now against the pro v1 one more shot to go it's not a bad ball but is it the longest ball in golf i would say it is not So as you see from the numbers, the Quantix golf ball was not five yards longer. In fact, it was two yards shorter. So it's not the longest golf ball in the world. But all said and done, after testing it for the price point, it's not a terrible golf ball. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And we'll see you next time.